MicroStation Essentials Levels. Levels are a great way to organize data. They allow you to separate data from different pieces of data by drawing on the correct level. That means that elements need to be placed on the correct level. The levels that you have available are determined by your organization's CAD standards. Therefore, you have to choose an active level when you create a new element. Many other applications refer to levels as layers. Let's see how levels work within MicroStation. You choose your active level from your attributes toolbar. This is going to be found usually in the upper left hand side of your dialog box of the application. Here you can see that there's a large list of available levels and they are geared towards the type of drawing that you're working on. So for example, this is a city drawing, so there's some trails, there's a level for township, there's a level for swamps and survey and roads, shopping centers, things that you would find inside of a city. But you'll find some general levels that you will find in most uh, files, such as general annotations, general dimensions, and every file has a default level. You simply pick the level by clicking on the level name of interest. So levels have names, but if you want to, levels could also have numbers. At this point, you can follow the standard methodology. You pick your tool. Make sure that you've got the right level and right attributes. Check your tool settings and then read your prompt. Now you can start to draw. So levels are a relatively easy way to organize your data. You also have the choice with levels of setting your other attributes by level. So here I can choose my color to be by a level, and a little stack of levels appears in front of the color. You can choose your line style to be by level. So you pick the level, the software picks the line style. You pick the level, the software picks the line weight or the color. So now when I choose a different level, it automatically adjusts the color, line style, and weight by level. In addition, you can find your level display from your primary toolbar. And here you can see it's already been docked. You can drag it by the title bar to undock it. Or drag it back into place over here to dock it. This forms a tab with your tasks. Here you can see the level display is showing me the active file and it's showing me the levels that are turned on in blue, the levels that are turned off in white. The active level is shown here in green. So if I wanted to turn off levels, I simply click, single click on those levels to turn them on or off. So it's relatively straightforward. You can see also that there's a list here of uh, levels that are being used. So I can sort by the levels that are being used. And again, turn on or off by a single click. So all the used levels float to the top, and the unused levels are down here. So nothing has been drawn on these levels. So le levels are very easy way to again organize your data. By turning on and off levels you can create different types of drawings and that way you don't have to delete elements you just simply turn off their display and then you can create a print or a plot. Turn on the display and create a separate print or plot for different purposes. So again levels are a great way to organize data. You must be careful when you create elements that they are placed on the correct level. Your choice of levels are determined by your organization's CAD standard. And remember, choose an active level when you create a new element.